Yo guys, welcome back to another Malzor video. We are playing Malz against Syndra. Um, I feel like people, I'm not sure, but might struggle with this matchup. So, the basic strat of every champion that has a skill shot, just something to always kind of not practice. Or you should practice this, but just have in mind, right? So, Syndra has... Q's that is AOE. Her W, AOE. E, everything is AOE, right? But what we can do to kind of minimize the AOE is standing outside the minions, right? Um, so, for example, you don't want to stand in the middle because if she Q's the minions, she can Q you as well. So, the biggest key here is always stand outside. Same thing against a Zerat, same thing against an Ari. You want to kind of try to bait their spells on you, but when I say this and when I coach people, the problem is the players stand completely still doing it. You're supposed to try to juke, you know, you cannot just stand still. Ya yeah, Allah, I still haven't really understand how that E. I think if it just hits the ball, right? You don't have to hit the ball on top of me. It's fine. We're gonna take this slow here. Let's just slow this down. I don't think she will. She's not that crazy. I missed this. What is going on here? That's not good. It's fine. You know what? I'll stay. Why not? What are we... What are we doing? <laughs> I don't get it. We're like fighting level one here. Allah, bounce. Okay. Um, but yeah. So... Pretty much, always outside the minions, and it's gonna be better and better the later, later the game goes as well. Because you don't have to worry about the shove as much, because you will have enough damage to shove it up the faster. Opa! I'll take you back here as well. We got the first blood, so even though we do have a little bit of CS lead, it doesn't really impact as much. And the reason we do that, once again, we make them, we give them a choice. Us or minions. Walla, that is bugged. Especially for something like an Ari. Like, if she tries to Q you, that's her main spell for push, right? Then you can use free shove. Zerath as well. If he Qs you, boom, you can free shove. Back up. And I guess, Syndra, you kind of want boots early. But in this instance, we don't have it. Because we do have magical footwear. Why? Because I'm kind of confident that against Syndra. And the reason is, again, I played a lot of Twisted Fate back in the days. And I played it in, in the meta with Syndra and LeBlanc's. Kind of hard matchups for... Let's 
Perfect. We're gonna kill her anyways. Because she was too close to her turrets. And I didn't really... My avoidings would not have been able to reach her, you know, fast enough. And I didn't want to flash because, again, we don't have enough damage. What? Who the hell is this? Ya Allah Why does... Oh Come on Kind of an awkward um, split focusing to be honest They went on Ivan But you know he has thumbs I went on Syndra because she has no sums. Why has this started becoming so awkward? Wait for it to shove, guys. Okay. Basically like this. Now we really have to start stop fighting in the river. An ally has been it's okay. We gotta reset. Kind of a big reset as well. We have a full item now. Allah Akbar. Allah! She might be roaming here. A little bit of free kills here and there, but it is what it is. To be honest, it doesn't really matter too much because, like, I like my position. And I like the way our team comp is looking. So I'm not really too. Uh, too scared and also like Syndra is having some awkward recalls which is good for us this is definitely a plating on true So I'll just start impacting the map soon. Hard to juke without boots, but we cannot. One E is enough now to kind of like get like a full shove. So it's not the worst, but it's kind of hard for me to kill her. I could probably, you know, fight her, but it's very hard for me to get close because of her spells. Maybe here though. Please, full back. We see her. Don't risk it. Okay, we took a long round. Rather than mid shove there, I think it's better for the team. We don't want to go for a fight. Should probably reset it here. She went to get her item. That's back as well. Nope. I don't know what she was doing. I don't care. Let's just go back. Get a blasting wand. Again, her reset was, or her. I'm not sure what she was doing. Maybe rotating, and then kind of maybe someone backed her off, but. We kind of get a free reset here, which is good. She has tier 1 boots, so she's a little bit faster. If Ekrim can get a good play off, maybe. Problem is, though, she has subs again. Opa. Alright. 
little bit early, but it's okay. Oh wow, I got one shot for me. That's interesting. Got a lot of damage. Uh, oh, I have. Uh, I had the uh, Black Fight Torch. Oh, this is not good. Oh my. Wow, that is insane. Well played. Fun guys, we play macro. A little bit of unfortunate place. Can't believe uh, I got one shot by Ivan with. Um, what's this even called? Redemption. We have TP. We do have everything. Yeah, shut down. Oh, nice. Good bounce. GG. I was looking for a flash, but the thing is, I, I saw that no one had a shutdown, right? It's not worth my flash for a kill only. But when Ivan jumped in like that, nah, we're taking those. I'm dying for that. But we didn't even die, because, like, these scenarios, uh, it's not worth my flash for uh, 300 gold, but for 700 or 800, definitely worth. And again, my team was on their way, and they kind of trolled that, to be honest. Big, big, big advantage is thrown away like that, man. So common these days as well. That's definitely a tilt factor. Again, look, they get the wave shelf. No one is here. They're all grouping mid. Kind of getting disoriented. We still catching golems, having good CS. My Gwen can't I think, but it is what it is. It's fine. I think me and Bot can definitely carry this game. I try to support my misfortune as much as possible. She is very strong. Problem is, they have a lot of cancellations here. They have uh, Syndra, they have Ivan. Ivan's little shit golem. Trash can always queue. Tom Cash can always jump in. But it is what it is. I think late game, or the later this game goes, I think we will be decently strong. Especially with uh, Rylai. It's very good. Can help with misfortune, get a good R off and, and uh, all of that, you know. I should definitely swap to Lens next back. Egg is about to spawn. We do have good vision coverage. Maybe she walks up here. I don't think she will. They're definitely looking for top here. They're giving up the Drake. Maybe because they know like their vision is not the greatest. If I can get a, like a Q off and slower, then I can definitely use Chaser. And if I can juke her first combo, I definitely can kill. But um, yeah, she was kind of playing it a little bit safe there. A 
Let's see if we can maybe lay her here. We'll get a flash, not bad. Now we can rotate maybe. Flash. I have TP, I guess rotate top and then look for another TP player somewhere. <laughs> That's An ally has been slain. Unfortunate. I mean, the biggest thing here is never to lose track of uh, what the wind con is, right? The wind con is scaling always. It allows are we not scale by running bot with my team here doing nothing if they die they die like it's not like, yeah, i'm not even sure why they're there right we cannot stop that and now we go back bot because they died and we are resetting and now we have tp again we should cover top side and that's gg but in that scenario if they use back there are three people chasing here if they use back like they lose so much here they lose so much mid but it's like we die which kind of makes it okay and pays off for them which is very bad i'm pretty sure if anyone is here trash is here Again, shove this in. People rotating to me, it's good. Close, but no. Would have been a big play if we maybe got top turret or something, but um, Gwen is not the strongest, which makes it kind of difficult. And uh, yeah, that was kind of close. If we had uh, Leandris, we'd probably kill. Again. Same scenario. We'll go back bot, rinse and repeat, guys. Just rinse and repeat. That's that's the way of the game. Uh, maybe not the uh, you know the best target for us to split against, but what can we do? Play. Never mind. He has Banshee Wheel as well. Which means we have to play it even more safe. But she is kinda limiting her power with that build. I guess Gwen is somewhat still playing. Because if she wouldn't have defended top, then yeah. That would have been tragic. I 
I kind of need more stuff. They have kind of a lot of armor already. Bot is slow pushing. Syndra is moving, rotating a little bit too early, so she's gonna miss this. Again, better for us. We can actually not go bot. We can maybe look for a fight. Opa. How is no one dying here, actually? And now, look, because we pushed bot, look what we get. We get so much, you guys. But what is that sh What is this build, by the way? I don't know if we can... Can we? Oh, wow. Guys, again, we stick to one easy macro play. Splitting, then grouping. Splitting, then teeping. Pushing, and looking. Imagine if I just grouped with my team Perma, I would probably 120 CS. Um, maybe more more assists but who cares we are looking to win the game we became strong by splitting taking farm getting turrets we grouped a couple of times one or two bad tps doesn't really matter as long as we stick to it right one play will work guys thank you for watching catch the next one peace